Hey guys, what is going on? And welcome back to episode seven, where this man is my neighbor. Let's go check out my neighbor's house. Hello? Hello? How you guys doing, huh? How are we doing, eh? Okay, that's pretty cool. But guys, we are back with episode seven of our Airedale Prison series. I have a few announcements before we begin today's episode. Be sure to use my IP, which is bumpy.airedale.net if you want to play on this server. Also be sure to use code bumpy for 5% off the website store on your purchases. So if you wanna save 5%, use code bumpy, no capital letters or anything like that, just B-U-M-P-Y and you will save 5%. Now guys, I have some big plans in today's episode. Guys, is basically, I just want to start out this episode by saying that we got a bountiful pickaxe in the previous episode, and I want to give this thing away to one of you guys. As you guys know, I already have a bountiful pickaxe, so I don't need another one. So I got this from the legendary key that I spun last episode, and I want to give this away to one of you guys. So all you have to do is just comment your IGN in the comments section, and I'm going to give this a solid 48 hours after the release of this episode. And once that 48 hours hits, I will do a random comment generator and I will pick one of you guys to win the Bountiful Pickaxe. We'll figure out some way to get you the pickaxe. So yeah guys, be sure to comment your IGN in the comment section. And also while you're in that comment section, be sure to drop a like on this video. I really do appreciate it. It really does help me out. That is not required for the giveaway, but it really does help me out. So I do appreciate it. But the biggest thing is to drop your IGN if you want to be entered in the giveaway. You can also add some other stuff to the comment as well if you have some general comments about this video as well. But, but yeah, just be sure to leave your name in the comment section if you want to be entered into the Bountiful Pickaxe giveaway. But guys, I do have some cool plans for this episode. The first thing is I'm going to spin every single one of these keys and see what we get uh, from the common crate keys and the uncommon crate keys. So let's go ahead and go to slash warp crates. And for those of you who don't know, basically you get these keys when you vote on the network six times a day and every vote gets you a key and you have a chance to get an uncommon key as well so that's how I have a few of those so let's go ahead and do all the commons first and just see what we get we're just gonna spam the crap out of this oh my oh my oh my oh my okay this is what we got we got a bedrock pickaxe which is actually sick that one doesn't break so I'm not sure if anybody's gonna want that I might give that one away as well um, but we got some key fragments we got a golden apple we got a soul shard uh, pretty basic stuff because it is just common crates let's go ahead and spin all my uncommon crates here we go and what do we get what do we get we got a flower pot okay uh, it doesn't say that I got much. I, I think we just got emeralds and Mr. Sticky and, and okay. I didn't really see me get anything there. That was kind of weird, I, I guess. Let's go ahead and spin our rare crates. We do have quite a few of these as well. So we're going to see what we get from these. Let's hope we get something good. Uh, oh my, that is sick. Epic crate key. That's awesome. We're going to spin that today as well because why the heck not? And uh, yeah, let's go ahead. Oh my gosh, we just got a haste for 10 minutes. These are actually sick. These are actually going to you know sell for decent amounts of money, but I do want to spin the epic uh, crate key if I can speak. Speaking is tough, you know what I'm saying? Uh, hopefully we get not the dirt. Okay, well, I, I mean, I don't know if dirt's good or not, but uh, you know, we'll, we'll take it, I suppose. But we do have this epic crate key. Let's go ahead and spin it. Hopefully we get something good. 500 scrap. All right, we'll take it. Uh, do we have any more? No, we don't. We don't. Okay, we don't have any more of those either. Let's go ahead and spin all of our our stuff here. We can get a bunch of fragments. Uh, yeah, we, we're getting a ton of fragments here from all these mining crates. Holy cow, I didn't realize I had so many of these, dude. Dude, I didn't know I had so many of these. What the heck? We have four of those. Holy cow. Let's go ahead and keep spinning. I, I've been saving up a bunch of these. All right, so we just got 10 grand from that. Um, but yeah, we have a bunch of mining crates that I haven't opened. So we're just going to go ahead and open them all because why the heck not? I mean, apparently we're just going off. We can make another epic key. Dude, we're just getting so many rewards that I just don't even know everything that I'm getting. Well, I do, but at the same time, I don't. Um, okay, so we can put these four in a crafting grid. Uh, how do we... All right, so I messaged somebody about how to craft these uh, these fragments into keys. So let's go ahead and do this. That's how you make keys. You can also do this with, you know, commons, uncommons, all that good stuff. So I just basically made some more keys from these fragments that I got from mining, which is pretty cool. So we have another epic key and some uncommon and common. Let's go ahead and spin all of these. 
Got some more money. Got some good stuff. Let's go ahead and do the uncommons. Oh, wait. Uncommon? There we go. Okay, got some more stuff there. And the epic. Let's see what we get. Boom. All right, here we go. Hopefully we get something good. Something good. Come on. Something good. No, not... Okay. Uh, legend kit. Dang. Uh, vote party craze. I have some of these for sure. 100%. Good. 50 grand. We take that. We're getting a bunch of items that I don't know what to do with. Mossy, cobblestone... We got it, baby. Let's go. But here are all the rewards we got. We got a bunch of money as well. We're up to 550K. Very cool stuff. Let's go ahead and go slash home. And guys, what I want to do is I want to put all this stuff away. First of all, we have quite a bit of decent stuff in there, including uh, the haste pots. And we also have the bedrock pickaxe. And we have some soul shards. Hello there, sir. How are you today, huh? Okay, hello. Are you my neighbor? You're definitely my neighbor. Let's go see my neighbor's home. Oh, this is the guy that actually messaged me about the um, how to craft the keys. So that's pretty cool. Shout out to you, Mr. RRGE. But yes, guys, what I want to do now is I want to show you guys something pretty cool. So with all this scrap that we've accumulated, we have 3.3 thousand scrap. And from all the mining I've been doing, we have a lot of emeralds and diamonds and a bunch of stuff. We have a bunch of stuff. So guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do slash spawn, and there is a man that we need to talk to. He is a very, a very helpful young lad who is going to assist us in making a bunch of money. Now guys, we are in, we are currently C3, and eventually in the next episode, I want to get to B rank. So to get to B rank, we're going to have to sell a bunch of stuff. So we're going to have to go into the animal farm. I don't know where else I was going, but once you're in the animal farm, what you want to do is drop into this well right here. And here is the broker. So the broker supplies us with commissionary passes. And what do the smugglers buy? Each smuggler will buy three-fifths of possible items from you at two times normal store price. Interesting. So possible items are copper, iron, gold, diamond, and emerald. Be sure to check what each smuggler buys before you purchase a pass. So for example, we have Hector here. He is the cheapest out of all of them. This is 333. The next one is 666. The next one is 999. Basically, if we want to sell emeralds, gold, and iron, we need to basically buy this one. And this is the most expensive one. We have a bunch of emeralds, we have a bunch of gold, and that'll probably fill up our inventory quite well. Uh, this one is diamonds, gold, and copper. So I would sell diamond and gold here, and this one is gold, iron, and copper. What I wanna do is we have so much gold, and we have a decent amount of emeralds and diamonds that I'm going to buy uh, a smuggler's den for Shane and for Mia. Let's go ahead and buy this one, and let's go ahead and buy this one. It says, smuggle some of your valuable items out of the prison for a big profit. This slip will give temporary access to Shane, and you'll be able to sell to them. Right-click to use. So we obviously don't want to right-click these uh, just yet, but I want to go home, and we need to go ahead and sell our emeralds. But uh, let's go ahead and condense all this right there. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and put all of these items right here. We are going to maximize our inventory space, uh, and what we can also do is put some in my offhand as well to maximize our gains. So there we go. Uh, that is pretty cool. We have a maxed out inventory of emerald and gold. We have the Mia ticket right here. Right click to confirm that you want to use this voucher. Mia, yes, I do. Boom. Okay, we're, we're with Mia now for a limited time. So let's go ahead and sell all of these blocks. Oh my, can we not shift click? Oh, there we go. There we go. We can shift click. Okay. Good, that's great. We are getting, oh my, that's a lot of money. That is actually a lot of money. Holy cow. I didn't realize how much money that was. Let's see, boom, and we need to sell all these. I don't know how much time we have in here, so I'm just gonna sell as much as we can um, because I wanna make sure we can sell it all. And there we go. Uh, that's a full inventory. We're at 1.75 million. Holy cow, I'm rich. I'm actually rich. Okay, so wait, how do I get out of here? But yeah, so Mia, this is how you like sell stuff to Mia. Um, it's iron, emerald, and gold for the most expensive one. And we had a bunch of emeralds. We had about half an inventory of emerald, half an inventory of gold. We had about 500K going into this. So we made about, we made 1.25 million, which is really cool. Uh, you can't sell diamonds here, which is interesting. So let's go ahead and do slash home. And uh, so obviously we have plenty of time in the commission areas, which is great. And I'm gonna go ahead and sell all my diamonds now. We're going to condense these down and we have quite a few diamonds that we're going to sell along with some gold as well, just cause we don't wanna waste any inventory room at all. So let's go ahead and do this and this and we're in. Here we go, let's go ahead and sell all these diamond blocks. These are selling for half the amount as the emerald blocks went for. 
but still significant amounts of money, which is great to see um, because we <laughs> want money. We need money to get to B rank for next episode, but these commissionary passes are the way to make money. And that's what the scrap armor can really help us with because uh, we can get like loads and loads of scrap uh, from you know mining with that scrap armor, and we're able to get uh, you know enough to actually purchase the the passes, which is great. And then we can sell all this stuff, and we're at 2.47 million. So we made about two million from these two commissionary passes which is fantastic. Um, I'm really hyped about that. Now, one thing to maximize our gains, you want to make sure that you have a full inventory of emeralds and a full inventory of diamonds, because here's the thing. We can sell, if I go to slash spawn and go back to that, um, the dude, basically we can sell gold at the cheapest possible commissionary price. Um, now I think, yeah, gold was selling for that much there and it was also selling for that much there. So it was selling for the same price, except we got into the into Shane's little hut thing for you know 333 less because if we go back here we, this is really important to note you want to make sure you have full inventories of emerald diamond and gold those are the highest selling ores so with uh, Hector he only costs th 333 but he still sells gold so that's when you want to take a full inventory of gold to Hector and a full inventory of Emerald to Mia. So that's what we'll do in the future, but I really wanted to show you guys uh, these, these commissionary passes because they're really, really cool. We made loads of money and we're up to 2.5 million. So this is, this is awesome. I'm really excited for that. All right, guys, so this guy right here, Elder Jamie, he is buying haste pots for 500K each. I have two of them that I wanna sell him, so I'm gonna go ahead and message him and see if we can get a sale going. All right, so we just finished up that transaction. We are up to $3.5 million. Uh, it's been a very successful episode, and uh, we need to restart our collection of emeralds and diamonds. We're back at square, square one with those. White concrete powder, bam, there we go. Another speed typing thing. But uh, with that last million dollar transaction, that is a good way to end the episode off. So hopefully you guys did enjoy today's episode. If you did, be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to use my IP, bumpy.airydale.net. It really does help me out. Also use code bumpy in the shop if you want to purchase any items from the Airydale store. And with that being said, guys, I will see you in episode number eight. With that being said, have a great week and peace out.